Hello, welcome to another reading vlog. This is not part of the monthly read, but I did want to record it. It's time, ladies and gents, if you've been following me on Instagram, you know I've been reading through on a glass, and it's time. It's tandem read time. This is the first ever tandem read I've ever done. I'm scared, I'm worried. If you're new to the channel, my name is Katie and I am a Irish music teacher currently living in Italy with my dog, Albert. For those of you who've been following me over on Instagram, you will know that over the last few weeks I've been reading the Throne of Glass series and I have a lot of thoughts about it. If you have missed the video, I'll link it up here. It was my March reads, which is pretty much just we need to talk about Throne of Glass series video and I had lots of thoughts. <laughs> if you are unaware of the Throne of Glass series, you would not know that there are many different ways to read this series. I've talked about this in multiple vlogs, but I'm going to just reiterate it for those of you who don't know. Throne of Glass can be read in multiple different ways. You can read it as it was published, one to three books. There's also a novella which can be read in the first position, third position, fourth position. I decided to read it in the first position. I am very happy with my decision, but then afterwards, for books six and seven, there are many options also. You can read them separately, reading Empire of Storms first and then reading Tower of Dawn, but thanks to Book Talk and TikTok, we've realized that actually it can be read as a tandem read as well. What does a tandem read mean? It just means we're reading two books at the exact same time. I'm gonna try it and see what happens. I am gonna be using this helping PDF if you literally just Google Lord of Glass PDF, it gives you the reading files, but I'll link it up here. You can screenshot if you like. They're both quite big books. Okay, this book is 660 pages. This book is near 700 pages. Where are we exactly in the story? At the moment, Elaine has gone north to Terrasin with her court and Kale has gone south to get a healer to help him. And he has brought Nezrin. We all know if you're if you've watched a few of these videos, you know I can't pronounce names, so I'm sorry. Hopefully you might be reading this tandem read with me. That would be fun. Am I eating a carrot? And I'm gonna take off all this makeup after putting it on. Just so I can go read my book. Mm-hmm. It's time to begin. Is fading fast from this old town. We gotta go. Our bags are packed, so what we waiting for? There's no point in delaying what we both already know. I fell asleep for an hour. I have to get through the first five chapters of Empire of Storm, then one chapter of Tower of Dawn. So let's do it. Let's break the back off both of these. Well, actually, it's not break the back if you're only just staring, is it? What's it called? I don't know. Are you telling me that I went through all those books just for her to not be queen automatically? They ask you how you are, you just have to say that you're fine when you're not really fine, but you just can't get into it because they would- I'm starting to see a trend here with my reading. I kind of pick a man and I hate him. And Darrow, you are number one on that list, baby boy. Oh my god, I am so angry. I am so <laughs> angry after reading chapter four in this book. Who does this man think he is? Who? These people aren't real. What? What? Stop. Hello. Okay, so we've gotten to the first change. We've gotten to five chapters of Empire of Storm. Time to start one chapter of Tower of Dawn. And I'm annoyed. I can see why people find the tandem read frustrating because obviously spoilers, you know that sh things are about to kick off, Dorian's about to get attacked, like the action is really really high and now I have to go somewhere else. Hello Albert, this is his world, I'm just living in it. second swap of the books but already I'm like seeing the benefits of like the swap because in this book which is this, the book that's meant to technically come after this one we are currently dealing with Kale and Nezrin and they're after finding out about the witches ransack and richfold riftfold riftold <laughs> 
whatever the place is called. So the witches are after ransacking the kingdom and Kale and Nezrin are after finding out about this. I feel that if I didn't read these two at the same time, I would be really frustrated because obviously I'm going, I would have known what happened. So I feel like it is quite exciting to do a jump from one to the other. I will say the chapters in this one is a <laughs> Maybe it's because I don't like Kale and Nesrin as much as I like the other characters in the other book. But this one, I'm just kind of like, oh, they're such long chapters. I've only gotten a tiny little bit of this book done, but I got a good like 100 pages done of this one last night. Prediction time. I predict that Cashin. Sorry, I got the brothers confused. It's between Cashin and Sakar. Prince Cashin is going to be like he's going to go after Nezrin, and I have a prediction that Kale is going to have to like fight for her, and that's going to be the love interest part in this book. Maybe. Wrong. To remember more. Sweetness of your breath, the joke you always told, the way you wore your hat when it got cold. Good morning, it is Tuesday and we are back to Tower of Dawn, the changeover to Tower of Dawn. What's happening currently? I'm not gonna, this is gonna be one of my last early on updates, but. Liar! Liar! Currently, Elid, Elid and Lorcan have just run away from the Irkin, and I don't know if I'm pronouncing any of these things right, so I'm sorry. And I'm just about to kick off into chapter four of Tower of Dawn, where we finally meet Irene. Irene was in Assassin's Blade, and I'm really glad to see her, so it's be very interesting to see what Selena Sardathian's um, what her influence was on Irene's life. I don't know how much reading I'm gonna get done today. Tuesday is my reading club with my year fives. Well, the year fives have a reading club and I join them <laughs> at lunchtime. So hopefully we'll get some done. That'll be great. It's lunchtime and I found a new place to hide. The library. I keep forgetting the school has like two really fantastic libraries. So I'm gonna hide in the corner. Half me is like, do we really need to fix Kale? Do we need to fix him? Can we not just kill him? Oof, that's a dark thought. Oh, smash that door. I fucked around with myself and I let you know. It's serious because I've got my gym glasses on. You're gonna kill Astrid. I hate that black beak matron. I hate her. Good morning. It is Easter holidays, so you're not gonna see me for another few days because I have guests coming. I am getting through this. I find this book much slower than the other book for now. Anyway, I'll see you in a few days. Bye. Okay. We've had Aiden for three books, and it's only now he's saying, No, I don't want to touch Aileen that way. Sarah Jim asked, why did you let us think that for like two books? Because I'm realizing these videos, I look so unhinged. hello and what's up sorry for my lip don't even look at it i got bit by a mosquito in the corner of my lip and it looks like i am the joker anyway a few days have passed and i am working through the book going slowly but getting there so so far what's happening in empire of storms we have aileen is currently fighting by against erwin she is on her way to the skulls island manon has finally just left the witches with her 13 girl boss slay the house down boots love her 
obviously I need to add so many books but my bookshelf is done yay this looks really bare and it upsets me but we're not thinking about it okay it is time to read my book and just relax for the evening Captain Rolf is being Captain Rolf. We love it. Got a few takeaways. Number one, so many characters have just like exploded onto the page. Secondly, the chapters are a lot longer. Thirdly, the only downside, because I'm really enjoying the tandem read, I'm really enjoying it, but the only downside is, you know the way after you get like through 100 pages of a book, you really start to like feel like, oh yeah, I'm in the groove now. I think because I'm jumping from one book to the other constantly, it's really hard for me to get in a groove. So I'm finding, even though I thought I would really enjoy this book more than the other one, I'm finding Empire of Storms more difficult to settle into. And I'm finding Tower of Dawn really easy to read, even though the chapters are much longer in Tower of Dawn. But like I said, I'm really enjoying this tandem read. I am loving it. I'm loving that it's like so many different stories happening at once, but also compared to the first few books, which I found quite monotonous, that it was like the same people all the time and very kind of not basic stories, but it's time to sleep and tomorrow we will meet the fancy two fey men who have just walked into Captain Rolf's office tomorrow. Good night. Albert's also enraged. Skulls Bay? Don't send her to Skulls Bay. Hello. <laughs> you okay? Don't send her to Skulls Bay. Oh my God. Oh my God, it's getting saucy. Skulls Bay, he threw out. Tell her fire can be found at Skulls Bay. It was perhaps the one place Aileen would never go, down to the domain of the Pirate Lord. <laughs> Okay, the tandem read's getting good. I, I can't blame Kim. How would he have, how would he have known? How would he have known? I know my lips are disgusting. Don't look at them! Don't look at them! Okay, currently in the books at the moment, in the Empire of Storms, Aileen has just appeared in Ralph's office. Badass move, mints. Woo! Okay, we love it. Also, then in Tower of Dawn, we see the relationship between Irene and Kale kicking off. And you know what? I said a lot of shit about Kale. I said a lot of things, but I like him now. I like it. He's my best friend. He's my pal. He's my homeboy. My rotten soldier. He's my sweet cheese. My good time boy. I just love broken men. <laughs> serious because I've got my speckly on. <sighs> but I find it difficult from jumping from all the different perspectives and also jumping from the books. So I feel like getting to read all these chapters back to back to back to back. I really get into it now. I'm enjoying it. Good night. <laughs> to the part my lip is still bad don't look at it don't look at it oh. the amount of videos that I've put off because my lip is the way it is currently at this part of the reading where I have a little over six eighths of the book and now we're on the part of Empire of Storms where you have to read loads of chapters so I can finally just carry one book around for a while. Currently what's happening is they've finally gotten Rolf to agree to fight and the Vag are attacking Skulls Bay and she's going to burn down to the ground. 
again and he made a few little comments about Sam in this and something that I loved was that Rowan stood up for Aileen. I was really against the relationship between Aileen and Rowan for a long time and now I'm kind of like oh they're nice. I still don't know where it, it just like happened like that. Look how I'm trying to block my mouth in everything I do. <laughs> anyway this is a long video and it's a long process but I'm enjoying it. Hi, hello. <laughs> I have this horrible thing on my lip. Stan! And tonight I'm going on a date. <laughs> well, but you didn't expect me here at half seven in my pajamas. Yeah, time to read my book instead of doing what I was going to do instead. Well, before you say anything, I wasn't left stranded. We had to postpone. And I'm delighted. <laughs> because I had to read. confused now I'm on chapter 39 and <laughs> anyway is it that they're mates now like the only reason I kind of get that they're mates is because of the similar things that I read in Akatar I'm like are they mates are they not mates what does it mean I thought I had it in the video, but I accidentally took this picture. <laughs> Sometimes I I actually surprise myself with how ugly I can be. We're reading. Um, I was out last night. My head is splitting, but I can do it. I'm going to read. different like journeys and tasks going on so in Tower of Dawn we have Irene and Kale working together to get Kale's legs sorted but to also try and figure out more about the weird the word keys then we have Sakar and Nesrin in the mountains currently dealing with the merchant falcon and they're dealing with the killer spiders if somebody listened to this out of context, it's the strangest thing ever. In, in Empire of Storms, we have Man has just sent Dorian on to find the 13. Aileen is trying to save the kingdom. Rowan is there with them. Adian and Lysandra are kind of together, but also dealing with the fact that Adian's father is there. Who else is there? There's so many people in this book. Eid is with Lorcan, and Lorcan's just found out who Elid actually is, and they're trying to get back to Terrison as well it's all happening but it's just it's just so Game of Thrones coded with all these things that are going on why do I like Lorcan <laughs> I will always find you <laughs> these men are so problematic okay hi yeah can we just appreciate that Aileen is 19 20 in these books dealing with everything that she's dealing with when I was 20 years of age, I couldn't ring the doctor to make an appointment if I was sick. We've done the big massive stint of Empire of Storms. We are 
I'm gonna say in the last quarter of the book. The only problem is I can't remember what was happening in Tower of Dawn. Um, Falcon was doing something. I don't know. Look, I forgot how insufferable Gale can be sometimes. Like he was just getting a redemption arc and then he's like, alien would probably do all these horrible things. Have a bit of faith, man. Have a bit of faith. Manon has just called Rowan alien's mate, but there wasn't any ceremony to it. Why was there no ceremony to it? Why was there not like a moment? I would have loved a moment. Do you know what I mean? Do you know what I mean? Maeve. So many twists, so many turns, so many twists, so many turns. Good morning. Okay, I am late for work, but that's okay because I spent the extra time reading and now we are on the final stretch for Empire of Storms. <laughs> We're on the last five chapters of Empire of Storm. I'm in my pajamas. It is six o'clock and the 13 have just arrived. can say is this book has finally linked every single thing together it is it just it blew my mind all the links that came together the second thing is dear god for the love of god do the tandem read because you are not you are not gonna want to read this after reading this you're just not gonna do it it's not gonna happen it's not gonna happen too much action's happening Are you for real? Are you actually for real? Are you for real? Are you for real? Babe? Silly babe. My wife? My wife? Is my wife. Oh! Sorry, Lysandra was... Was gonna... Is going to be alien? She's gonna pretend to be alien? What? The thought process Sarah J Maas has. Like... Every question answered. Every knot tied up. Like, there, this book alone, five stars. <laughs> now, 10 chapters left of Tower of Dawn and the Tandem Read is done. Is done. It's time for real pain, apparently, with Kingdom of Ash. Okay, I'm gonna wrap this up so quickly. Negatives. It's just hard to, when you're changing books constantly to kind of settle in the book. And positives. It is a whirlwind. The fact that it's happening all at the exact same time and whoever made that chart. It is so well thought out, so well done. And I would really recommend you do not read this as a tandem read because if you do, you're not going to read Tower of Dawn because Empire of Storms is just so high energy. It would just bring you right back. You need to read the two at the same time. Pray on the clouds, but always land on your feet. Good night. Oh!